St. Joseph, usually sometime in the heart of Lent, we celebrate the solemnity of the greatest saint, and his name is St. Joseph. St. Joseph was the greatest. In theology, we give these words in theology to express our relationship to God, to Mary, to Joseph, and to the saints. To God, we give the cult of Latria which means that we praise the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> to Mary we give the cult of Hyperdulia, which means the highest veneration. Then Dulia we give to the saints. But in between Dulia and Hyperdulia, there is what, there's what is called the cult of Protodulia, that is given to St. Joseph. That means we give to him, to St. Joseph, the highest veneration of all the saints. We celebrate his feast day on March 19th, in which we celebrate St. Joseph, the husband of Mary. Then a little bit later on, in May, May 1st, entering into the month of Mary, we celebrate St. Joseph, the worker. There are so many titles for St. Joseph. But I'll give you two today. St. Joseph is the master of the interior life, which means that St. Joseph can teach us how to go deep in our prayer life. What a marvel that St. Joseph actually taught Jesus to pray. Jesus, who's the Logos, the Word of God the Father, God Himself, God from God, light from light. Jesus had two natures, the human nature and the divine nature. So in his human nature he had to grow. So St. Joseph and Mary taught Jesus how to talk, how to walk, but also they taught him how to pray, how to say Abba, which means Daddy or Father. To say, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. So if you really want to go deeper in your spiritual life, deeper in your prayer life, have recourse to St. Joseph, and ask St. Joseph to help you to really encounter God in your prayer in a more deeper, more profound way. Given that today, March 12th, year 2013, the Cardinals will enter into conclave to vote for the new Pope in the morning. They will have a special Mass, and then in the afternoon they will start the voting process. St. Joseph is known as the patron of the Universal Church. Blessed Pope John the Twenty-Third actually placed his name in the Roman canon. So given that St. Joseph is the patron of the Universal Church, let us place this conclave in the hands of St. Joseph knowing that his prayers are very powerful. Good St. Joseph, pray for us.